Hello and welcome to HD Calx. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can set decimal places on the Casio FX300 ES Plus calculator. To do this we'll need to use the shift key that looks like this located here in the top left as well as the mode setup key that looks like this located here. Normally our calculator will be in what's called float mode or normal mode where it shows the number of decimal places required to view the answer and no more. So for example if we do 1 divided by 8 normally this calculator gives us a fraction but if we convert that to a decimal we see we get 0 0.125 but let's say we wanted to round this or only display say two decimal places to do that we press shift then the mode key which brings us to this menu here we want to turn on fix mode which allows us to set decimal places so we press 6 and then it brings up to this menu and asks us how many decimal places we want for this example we'll be doing two decimal places so we press 2 and we're back to the main screen and if we convert that fraction to a decimal we see we now have 0.13 that's because the 0 0.125 has been rounded to two decimal places and that 2 has been rounded up to a 3 because of the 5 here. We can tell we're in fix mode because the word fix will appear at the top of the screen. So if you're getting a result that seems off or rounded, be sure to check that. We can use up to nine decimal places in this. So for example, if we go shift mode, fix, and then 9, to decimals we see we've used nine decimal places here even though we don't actually have numbers to go into them it'll still display all of the decimal places once we're done with this and want to go back to our normal mode or float mode we can do this by pressing the shift mode key again and this time selecting number eight or normal mode which will bring us up to this menu here and normal two is usually the best one to do because that gives you all your decimals And we're back to normal mode, and the fix at the top of the screen is no longer there. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.